Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see Microsoft Intune for SCM admin. Okay what does that mean? Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> so what I mean by Microsoft Intune for SCM admin is basically if you are an SCM admin and if you want to upskill yourself and learn in tune then this is the post for you and this is a video for you okay if you are not an SCM admin then this post might not make any sense for you okay so let's check it out so you must be aware Intune is basically a cloud solution from Microsoft. So when I say cloud solution, it is it is SaaS solution, software as a service solution. So you don't need to manage any infrastructure components of Intune that is entirely managed by Microsoft. You don't need to download Intune software and install it on your on-prem or any cloud servers unlike SSEM. So for SSEM to create an SSEM infrastructure you need to download SSEM software from Microsoft and install it on your server, configure it. You need to design the SSEM infrastructure and you need to place the DPs, MPs in different locations and locations depending on your office network infrastructure and connectivity. But for Intune, those kind of tasks are not there at all. Okay, because the infrastructure is end to end managed by Microsoft and it's in the cloud. If you want to check out or try out Intune, you just need to get a trial subscription if you don't have the actual subscription you just need to get a trial subscription of microsoft enterprise mobility suite i don't know my it's renamed enterprise mobility plus security or something similar to that okay so get the trial version of it get azure ad setup then log into device management portal so this is the portal where you can get access to Intune and see what is Intune. So this is the console for Intune or portal for Intune. So device management.microsoft.com. So disclaimer, if you are SSEM admin and if you are thinking you don't have to manage Intune infrastructure and you don't have anything to do from an infrastructure side and if you just assume Intune is nothing you can learn that in few days by going through these notes you are absolutely wrong that is not what Intune is Intune is another beast similar to SCM it has lot of configurations, lot of settings, lot of things integrated to it and it is going to take months and months and years of study to understand how it works, how do you need to configure it, what are the differences, what is the best practice, how the world is progressing with mobile device management and how Microsoft cloud solution is getting connected with the other vendor solutions like say Android, Apple and how Microsoft is working with ISPs like Jamf for Mac management or for remote connectivity or remote support teams viewer how these services are getting integrated with Intune there are lot of stuff 
honestly it is going to take long long time to learn in tune it's not just okay logging into console and going through these device enrollment device complaints notes okay it's it's more than that you might get confused and you might get lost in these configurations if you are a pure sscm admin you might get lost somewhere so i am trying to help sscm admins through the series of posts which i am going to put up in my blog anupsinaya.com and that will help you to understand the difference between sscm and intune and i'm hoping that this will make your self your life easy to learn intune first of all right if you think about sscm setting up sscm you will always think about discovering the user connecting to the active directory etc etc right so for intune there is no local active directory we don't need to set up any local active directory when you log into intune portal over here it is already connected to your azure active directory if you don't know what is azure active directory basically azure active directory is your directory service in microsoft cloud similar to your on prem active directory okay so intune is tightly integrated with azure active directory this is what azure active directory is this is it's similar to on prem active directory okay and sscm so the relationship between what i'm trying to say is the relationship between intune and azure active directory is similar to the relationship between sscm and on prem active directory in sscm you have to discover the users devices from your on prem active directory and then install sscm client on those discovered devices to get that those devices managed right but in intune you don't you don't need to discover active uh, azure active directory users or devices it is by default integrated so tightly all the discovery is done for you by microsoft right so you don't need to configure azure active directory discovery azure active directory user discovery or you don't need to configure active directory system discovery okay active directory group discovery nothing there is nothing like that in intune so everything is already there you just need to assume that those things are already there that's it okay integration discovery is done that is done by microsoft for you so all the users and all the user groups and all the device groups in azure active directory can be used within intune okay for example if you want to deploy an application for a set of users then you might need to create a user group azure active directory user group and you can directly target that application to that particular group okay so it's not like sscm in sscm if you want to target an application then it, sorry in sscm if you want to deploy an application then you need to create a collection or you need to use an existing collection okay and in the in the collection you might have a logic to group a set of users or devices right and then you need to deploy that application to the collection right you cannot directly deploy the application to active on prem active directory group right you need to create objects within sscm and then deploy that application but in intune that is not needed it is it is so tightly integrated so you don't need to do anything like that 
you you can just directly deploy application to azure active directory users or azure active directory groups okay uh, let me show you one example of that over here if i go to applications right if i create one application or if you, if i can take one application which i already created 7zip for example if i go to assignment that is a place where you can deploy application so add group all the azure ad groups will show up over here just simple as that select the deployment type i will say required or it's not deployment type basically it's a assignment type select the groups to include let me select something test test user right test user group i will add this and i will select this and i will say okay okay so so what does this mean i have already direct deployed one particular application to an azure active directory group so what i'm trying to say is there is no concept as collections if you are coming from sscm background and if you think oh you need to create a collection and then only you can deploy application no that is not the scenario for intune you can directly deploy applications policies everything to azure active directory groups i think i already spent more than 10 minutes on this video so i will create a series of these type of videos and i will keep you updated and i will try to help you to learn intune if you are an sscm admin hope this kind of series of videos would be helpful to upskill help you to learn in tune without much friction thank you for watching if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do so so that you will get all the latest videos you will be notified about all the latest videos and we can learn together see you next time bye bye